In my first video, I showed you how to create an inspection template to identify the sensitive fields. In my second video, I showed you how to encrypt your data with the DLP. In this video, we are going to check how to mask your data. In this approach, the actual data is not going to change. Only the representation to the user who is going to query is going to change. This is particularly useful when we don't want to change the actual data and only change the way how it is shown to the user. So without further ado, let's head over to my laptop and see how it is done. Before starting, one quick notice. The data masking feature is not yet generally available. It's in preview state. So if it is not recommended to use it on a production data. So just be careful what you're going to do with this. So here we are on the Google Cloud Console. First, we need to open data catalog, then go to policy tags and then create taxonomy. Click on create taxonomy, enter the name and the description at the bottom and add one policy tag. You can create hierarchy of policy tags, but we are not going to go very deep in this video. We are now only going to create one policy tag. Let's consider that we need to mask email address uh, in our policy tag. So we can name it as PII policy tag. Once it's created, select that data policy and select manage data policies. Click on add and then give the name, for example, email address. And then the masking type as SHA-256 as we want to change it to some other format and do not want to just nullify it. And finally, you need to add who needs to have restricted access to the columns which will be marked with this tag. A user needs to either have fine grained reader access to access everything or masked reader role to access that in a restricted format. If user does not have any of the role, then the table marked with the tag will not be accessible at all. Now that the policy is created, next part is to apply this policy on a table uh, or to be specific on a column. To do that, we need to go to the BigQuery, open a data set and a table name where we know we have a certain column available. Click on the table, go to edit schema, select that column and click add policy tag. You will see a list of all policy tags available here, but we, as we have created only one, you will see only one. Select that policy tag and click select. Yes, double select. That's it. As I have added my name to the restricted access, let's try to query the table and see what do I see. I'm going to write the select email from that table name and then hit execute or run. And as you can see, all the email values are hashed values and not the actual email values. But the data in the table contains actual email address. So with this, you can simply hide the very sensitive data from the users who are going to query it. You can even apply it to service account and use that service account to create reports and dashboards so that the sensitive data is not available to any end user. So this is how you can create masking policies and mask the data and then share it with your data analyst or BI persons or data science, even data scientists. This is a very convenient way without changing the data to you know, share the data easily across your department or in your company. Hope you liked this video and learned something new about the Google Cloud today. If you want to know more and want to implement this on your company, Please get in touch with our sales team and let's get started. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.